Using complex software can be challenging and users often go to the web to find tutorials that provide step-by-step -step instructions for how to accomplish a task. But some users are not really interested in learning how to use an application. They just want to accomplish their task. We present a system, TAPS, that transforms existing step-by-step -step tutorials into applications. Let's follow Julie as she uses TAPS. Julie finds a tutorial on the Orton effect and wants to try it out. She clicks on the TAPS bookmarklet and uploads her photo. TAPS creates a web page which shows Julie's image as it goes through the steps in the Orton tutorial. But Julie wants to make the image a little softer. She scrolls down and increases the radius value in the blur step. TAPS saves this new radius setting for the new time Julie wants to apply this effect. Next, Julie finds a tutorial describing the Lomo effect and wants to apply it to another image. This time she clicks on gallery mode, which shows her the effect of the opacity parameter at a glance. She then clicks to expand the gallery to the rest of the steps. She scrolls to see the variations in the final image. Julie likes the way the middle column looks, so she double clicks the middle image to save this setting to her Lomo tap. The Taps Wiki saves all of her settings so that she can access them at any time. But not all image editing operations are a matter of changing sliders. Some require that the user select part of the image or paint with a brush. When Julie wants to remove a stranger who randomly showed up in her vacation photo, she opens the Remove Object tab, which was created by a friend. The Remove Object tab asks her to select the region of the image that should be removed. She clicks on Demonstrate to open a live editing window and selects the person she wants to remove. She clicks Done, and the rest of the steps are applied to her selection, removing the stranger from her photo. To allow Julie to explore the parameter space of a tap that requires direct manipulation, we offer a parallel live view mode. Here Julie applies a tattoo to her friend's arm. She tries out two different words in two different fonts. Taps allows her to set the parameters of both live instances through a comma separated string. Finally, Julie can also apply a tap to multiple images. Julie can also invoke taps directly from her file system as a macro. She can right click on an image or a folder of images and run any of the taps in the taps wiki. Authoring tutorial based applications is a semi automated process. First, TAPS analyzes web pages to find application commands. For example, here in the smoke type tutorial, it extracts the motion blur command in its parameters. When text analysis is not able to extract the application command, a user can annotate the tutorial by demonstration. TAPS maps the demonstration to the tutorial text. Tutorial based applications can also be created entirely by demonstration such as this fake HDR tutorial.